Hey, y'all, so I gotta tell you about this crazy stuff that happened to me recently. It's like something out of a horror movie, I swear. So, my little sister, Sarah, turned 10 last month, and my parents thought it'd be a great idea to get her this super fancy doll house. You know, one of those big ones with all the tiny furniture and stuff. Anyway, they set it up in her room, and Sarah was over the moon about it. She kept saying how she felt like a princess with her own castle. So, fast forward a couple of days, and Sarah starts acting weird. Like, really weird. She'd spend hours locked up in her room playing with that dollhouse, and whenever I'd ask her what she was doing, she'd just shush me and say it was a secret. At first, I thought she was just being a typical little kid, you know, lost in her imagination and all that. But then things started getting creepy. One night, I was passing by her room, and I heard her whispering to herself. I stopped outside her door and listened, and what I heard made my blood run cold. She was talking to the dolls in the dollhouse, but it wasn't like normal make-believe stuff. She was having full-on conversations with them, like they were real people. And the thing she was saying, e man, it was messed up. She was talking about how she was going to make them pay for what they did to her, how they were all going to suffer just like she did. I couldn't make sense of it, and it freaked me out big time. I tried talking to my parents about it, but they just brushed it off, saying it was just Sarah being a kid. But then things took a turn for the worse. One evening, I heard Sarah screaming from her room. I rushed in to see what was going on and what I saw. I'll never forget it. She was standing in front of the dollhouse, tears streaming down her face, and all the dolls, they were arranged in this creepy scene. It was like they were acting out some sort of twisted play. There was one doll lying on the ground, its head twisted at this weird angle, and another one was holding a tiny knife. And in the middle of it all, there was a doll that looked just like our neighbor, Mrs. Jenkins, with a red mark around its neck. I didn't know what to do. I tried to grab Sarah and get her out of there, but she wouldn't budge. She just kept saying that they deserved it, that they all deserved to die. And then, and then she said something that chilled me to the bone. She said that next, it would be me. I managed to get Sarah out of her room and downstairs, but I couldn't shake the feeling of dread that had settled weed over me. I knew something was seriously wrong with that dollhouse, but I didn't know what to do about it. I tried talking to my parents again, but they still didn't believe me. They said I was letting my imagination run wild, that I was scaring Sarah for no reason. But I couldn't shake the feeling that something terrible was going to happen. And sure enough, the next morning, we got a call from the police. They found Mrs. Jenkins. She'd been murdered in her own home. And the weird thing was, the way she was killed. It was exactly like how the doll in the dollhouse was arranged. I was terrified. I didn't know what to do or who to turn to. I felt like I was losing my mind. And then a few days later, Sarah. She disappeared. We searched everywhere for her, but we couldn't find her. It was like she vanished into thin air. To this day, I don't know what happened to her. I don't know if she ran away or if something, something else got her. But I can't shake the feeling that it all started with that damn doll hose. And I can't help but wonder if I hadn't seen what I saw, if I hadn't tried to warn everyone. Maybe things would have turned out differently. Maybe Sarah would still be here with us. So, yeah, that's my story. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on my life. Every word of it is true. And if you ever come across a dollhouse that seems too good to be true, my advice. Run. Run as far away as you can. Trust me, you don't want to end up like Sarah.